Let's take a look at Notability. Tap on the Notability app to open. If this is your first time opening Notability, you may receive the welcome screen with some tips. Go ahead and tap through that until your screen looks similar to mine. First, let's get our settings in order. Tap the settings icon in the bottom left-hand corner. Next, tap iCloud. Make sure that iCloud syncing is on. This way, your notes will back up to your iCloud account. That's your Apple ID on your iPad. Next, we want to make sure that we have a backup of our notes in a second location. Tap Manage Accounts. Here, you can turn on backup to one of these cloud services. My suggestion, use Google Drive. So what we're going to do is tap Log in next to Google Drive. You will then log in with one of your two district Google accounts. Just make sure you remember which one. For your students, I would suggest they log in with their district Google account because it has unlimited storage space. If they choose to back up to a personal Google account, they may not have enough storage to keep their notes backed up. If the notes are backed up into Google, they'll also be able to share these with a personal Google account before they graduate if they want to keep their notes. Next, tap Auto Backup. Here we want to also auto backup to Google Drive, so tap Google Drive. Then on the pop-up, tap OK. This turns automatic backup for any notes you already have plus any new notes that you will create. At the bottom, notice the Google Drive settings, the destination folder should be set to Notability, but you can change that to another folder by tapping on it. And then pick the folder you would like to sync to. The next option is you can choose which subjects you want to back up. Currently, these are the subjects I have listed in my notes. So these are the ones I have to choose from. You can always come back here later to turn off any notes you do not want backed up. And then the last option is file format. Tap on file format. These are the five ways you can back up your notes. The first option is Notability's native format called Note. This is the best format for backing up and sharing with other Notability users. If you choose this, your notes will only be viewable using the Notability app. All photos, text, handwriting, and audio recordings will be included in the file. The next option is PDF. The PDF option is good for sharing with computers and non-Notability users. They can be viewed anywhere, but it's read only. So if you have typed text, you will not be able to edit that text. The plus recording option adds a second file, which is just an audio recording of your Notability auto recording, but they do not sync together like they do in the note option. And we'll explore this soon. The third option is RTF, which stands for Rich Text Formatting. This is good for quick sharing of text and recording. Note, it does not include handwriting or PDFs that may be embedded in your note. I would suggest backing up as PDF if you are wanting to view these notes on other devices. If you still want to be able to edit these as a Notability note, then choose the Note option. Students may want to pick PDF so that if they want to view their Notability notes on their phone or on a laptop or other computer device that does not have Notability installed, PDF would be their best option. Let's look at the other settings in the settings box. Tap themes. This is the theme of how Notability appears on your screen. If you tap match iOS appearance and turn it on, if you're in dark mode on your iOS device, it will automatically go into dark mode in Notability. You can also change those themes at the top, choosing light, dark mode, or dark blue. And then the option for toggle colorful subjects, you can tap that on and watch the tabs on the left. 
they'll turn a solid color instead of just a circled dot. Again, this is a personal preference, so it's up to you as to how you have that turned on. Next, let's look at document. Document options include your default note title, if you want to include date and time in your note, and then your default note paper. This can be a variety of different colors and line, grid, or dot options. Also blank is included. This would set your default note to all of these settings without you having to go and fix it. Next, tap typing. The typing settings are what your text will be by default. Currently by default, it's Helvetica New. You can choose to make it default bold, italic, or underlined. Change the font size and the color. You can also toggle on check spelling and tap anywhere. Next, tap handwriting. Next, here are the settings for if you are going to be using handwriting in Notability, either with your finger or a stylus. You can change the handwriting language. So if you're handwriting in Spanish, French, or another language, you can tap to change. You may have to download the pack of handwriting language options to better assist in handwritten to text and also assist when you're searching your notes. The next two options, straight lines and shape detection, if you have those toggled on, it's gonna allow you to create a straight line rather than just drawing a jagged line. And shapes detection, if you draw something that is similar to a shape, it will automatically detect it and fix it. So a circle or a square or a triangle, for example. The next option is tap and hold. This allows you to enter zoom mode while handwriting. You can always tap on the zoom mode icon at the bottom to enter zoom mode, and I'll show you that shortly. If you're left-handed, I would suggest turning on left-handed mode. That way you don't encounter any errors when you're writing with a stylus. And then last, if you do have a stylus, make sure palm detection is turned on. That way Notability doesn't think that the palm resting on the screen is you trying to write. Next, let's look at password. Here you can password protect your Notability notebooks. You can also password protect specific sections within your notebook, which we'll look at shortly. And then your last three options, iOS sleep timer. If your iOS has a sleep timer set, you can toggle this to keep your iPad on when you're typing notes. Text-to-speech. If you're using the text-to-speech option, you can choose the speed at which it speaks. And then the last option is web clip. You can add a password to access the web clips that you have in Notability. Once you have your settings set, you're going to tap close.